Fit for Dermoscopy. So in this chapter, we talk about keratoacantoma and squamous cell carcinoma, also SCC. And you know my diagnostic eye. And we move now to the keratoacantoma in the yellow part on the right hand side and to the squamous cell carcinoma, which is a malignant skin lesion, skin tumor. Yeah. And so you know all this in clinic, um, an exophytic, hyperkeratotic, singular tumor. Yeah? And when we apply the dermoscope on this, we see this hyperkeratosis. I also like to compare this as a muffin. When you look on the top of a muffin, it looks a little, little bit like a muffin with hairpin-like vessels. Yeah? And we know when we hear here the history of the patient it is a rapid growing over weeks very rapidly yeah this is a keratoacantoma but we need to do surgery with histopathology why i explain later also an early keratoacantoma you see this hyperkeratosis in the center and very distinctly this um, hairpin like vessels at the periphery but do you remember this lesion I've taught you that this is a keratoacantoma. And now we get the result back from histopathology. It is a keratoacantoma like growing squamous cell carcinoma. So, in histopathology, it is sometimes very tricky to distinguish between both. And perhaps there's a little bit uh, um, tension of upgrading this benign lesions, keratoacantoma, into the SCC. So, for me, I cannot distinguish between both. I have the possibility to think about the keratoacantoma, but I must exclude the squamous cell carcinoma with operation in histopathology. So it is has the same pattern, but now in histopathology it was a keratoc uh, from the keratoacantoma and SCC. Here it is simple. You see this firm tumor, yeah, with these whitish areas. Remember, whitish. This means keratin-producing tumor with a polymorphia of vessels, yeah, at the periphery. Perhaps a little bit of hyperkeratosis or scratching, but you, we need to do surgery here. And the SEC was confirmed in histopathology. Yeah, smaller lesion whitish areas and see the vessels so you say oh this looks a little bit tree like vessels yes it I, I will not discuss about this but the whitish area are for me the hint for the scc therefore i need to do the surgery in the combination of this polymorphous vessels yeah and now a small lesion yeah we know that we learn from large lesions to small lesions hyperkeratotic in the center but look to the periphery with these whitish areas yeah and therefore these whitish areas also with these vessels a little bit happen like vessels but the whitish areas are the hint for the initial scc very very small yeah and i also like to say this is the last painful island yeah, when, for example, you have treated the scalp uh, with uh, diagnosis of actinic keratosis, yeah, and after three months you have only one single spot which is painful, the last painful island, with whitish areas, yeah, a little bit of white donuts where we see whitish donuts perhaps here, but whitish areas, a little bit of polymorphous vessels, and painful, yeah, then we know we have an initial SCC and we need to do surgery. What is this? I don't know. And when I do not know, I cannot name a benign diagnosis, I need to do surgery. And I got this result of this unusual lesion, a keratoacantoma in regression. I've never seen this before like this, so I must do surgery in a good management decision way for the patient. So, I'm happy to see you in the next chapter with further very rare malignant skin tumors. See you soon. Bye-bye.